in this uh, last video uh, we will discuss uh, on uh, one example taken from the past year test okay so this is a common emitter configuration without the bypass capacitor at the emitter so uh, beside of this circuit uh, the output characteristic and DC load lines also given so this is also given in the question so this is the output characteristic IC versus VCE with the load line so the black color solid line is the DC load line okay the question is determine the circuit input impedance so determine the circuit input impedance so the input impedance uh, is the impedance seen from the input input port so this is Z, ZI so uh, when you want to calculate the input impedance, so this calculation is uh, at consideration for the mid-band equivalent circuit, mid-band. Okay, so for drawing the mid-band equivalent circuit, you need to uh, get what is the R pi. And then R pi is beta over GM. So what is GM? GM is IC over 26 milli. So in this question, IC is not uh, directly given, so need to uh, calculate the IC. So beta is also not given, so you need to calculate the beta. So once you calculate the IC, you can get the GM, and then you calculate the beta, you can get the R pi. Okay, so let's uh, do the this uh, the solve. Let's let's solve the the solution. Uh, do the solution for question A. For the question A. Uh, I would recommend you to draw the mid-band equivalent circuit first. So the mid-band equivalent circuit will looks like this. So we have here the VS, and then we have the RS, and then we have here is this is RB. Between base and emitter, we have R pi, and then at the emitter we have a RE here. This is current source here, GM V pi, and V pi is the voltage across the R pi. Okay, since the VA is infinity, so R naught is infinity, and then at the collector, it's connected to the RC and RL. This is mid band equivalent circuit. So the input impedance is seen from the input port. This is the ZI. So the ZI is equal to RB parallel width. So here because there is no bypass capacitor at emitter, so we need to calculate the ZB, the impedance seen from the base here. This is the base point of the BJT. So this is the ZB. Okay. So the calculation for the ZB is equal to R pi plus Re times beta plus 1. Okay, so this is the this is the uh, equation for the Zb. Okay, once you get the Zb, you can get the Zi. Okay, so before we move to the calculation, we need to calculate that what is R pi. <coughs> okay, and then we need to calculate what is it, the R pi. So as I mentioned before, the R pi is not given. So you need to calculate the GM first and then you calculate the beta. So the beta, so how you get the uh, G, uh, the GM? The GM is equal to IC over 26 milli. So what is IC? IC is the Q point. So from this uh, output characteristic and the load line, the Q point is the intersection between uh, both uh, lines. So you need uh, the given information here is the IBQ. So this given the IBQ is 30 microampere. So from this graph, you search for IB equal to 30 microampere, and then you identify the intersecting point. So the intersecting point is here. So this is a VCEQ, and this is the ICQ. 
So the ICQ is 4.2 mA. So the GM can be calculated as 4.2 mA over 26 mA. So this is equal to uh, 161.54 mA semen. So this is GM. After you have calculated the GM, you need to calculate the alpha. But before you calculate the alpha, you need to determine the beta. So the beta is equal to ICQ over IBQ. Okay, ICQ is 4.2 mini and IBQ is 30 micro. So for this calculation, you will get 140 beta. Okay, so now you can calculate the alpha as a GM. Sorry beta over gm so beta is 140 gm is 161.54 milli so this is equal to 866.7 ohm so you get this is gm this is r pi so when you get the r pi you can calculate the zb the zb is equal to r pi 866.7 plus R pi is, uh, say R e is 1k, beta is 140, so 141. So this is 866.7 plus 141 below. The ZB is equal to 141.867 kilo ohm. This is ZB. And then now can ZI is equal to RB is uh, 500k so this is 500k parallel with zb is 141.867k so this calculation you will get the input impedance is uh, 110.51 kilo ohm so this is the answer for a okay so next question is determine the cutoff frequency due to the C1 and C2. So the first is the FL due to C1. So C1 is 1 microfarad. So FL due to C1, C1 is the input at the input. So FL C1 is equal to 1 over 2 pi RS plus ZI times C1. So this is equal to 2 pi RS is uh, 500. ZI is 110.51K and CI C1 is 1 micro. So this calculation will get will uh, give you 1.43 hertz. So this is FLC1. Okay, the second one is FL due to C2. C2 is equal to 0 0.1 microfarad. This is at the output. So at the output, the FLC2 is equal to 1 over 2 pi. And then here at the output is RL plus Z out. And the capacitor is C2. Okay, so what is Z out? Z out from the mid-band equivalent circuit. The Z out is equal to RC, which is 900 ohm. So this calculation Z out is 900 ohm. So you insert the value in this calculation. 2 pi RL is 900. So R, R, Z out is 100. RL is 100. So C2 is 0 0.1 microfarad. So this will give you a value of 1591 first. So this is the answer. For the uh, question B, okay, determine the cutoff frequency due to C1 and C2. Okay, based on this, if the question is determine the 
low cutoff frequency so you need to identify which one is the highest and uh, consider the value as the low cutoff frequency in this case the low cutoff frequency will be, will be the FLC2 so the low cutoff frequency is, will be around uh, 1591 Hz 